Hello dear friends of the Echo Peter channel. Recently we received another interesting message from Esther, who interviewed director of the movie Pierre Giuseppe Zaya. Let me remind you that this was an interview with Mr. Zaya's opinion about Dimashko de Bergen, who performed the song across endless dimensions as a soundtrack to his film Creator the Past. Esther told us about recent online chat that brought together the filmmakers. Director Pierre Giuseppe Zaya himself, as well as David Cristala and film producer Eleanor Fani. Basically, in this online chat, they discuss the movie Creator the Past, which will be released on October 8 this year. They chat and joke with each other amicably, and viewers write their questions live. The viewers ask if there are any special frequencies in music. Pierre Giuseppe agrees and talks about the Dolby Atmos 3D sound system. He said that cinemas have 32 or 64 speakers. The Melza Cinema, which is the largest cinema in Europe, has 128 speakers. So, Creator the Past is the first film in Italy filmed in Dolby Atmos 128 and 1. And the music from the film will soon be released on CD, which will include 24 tracks. This collection also contains the voice that Eleanor found. Pierre Giuseppe says that uh, it was Eleanor who found this unearthly creature because he cannot be called human. He is 26 years old. His name is an alien, Dimashko de Bergen, a Kazakh boy who has unrealistic vocal cords because he has a range of six octaves. That is, this is the area of the lowest octave. I'm saying it for those who understand piano music. The sounds are very low. Even in intonation they are difficult. It manages to reproduce the sounds of the full range of a piano, plus two piano tones. It's like an electric guitar. Then Pierre Giuseppe spoke about the composition across endless dimension. I'm proud that this guy is performing the soundtrack, because he really gave me the opportunity to express myself to the fullest. And at the end of the song something exciting happens. Listen to yourself. He's just doing something not human there. And Eleanor said that this was nothing new to her, because uh, Dimash was already known in uh, other countries, but in Italy very few people knew him yet. Then uh, Pier Giuseppe replied, We will hope that September will be a good month for a start, including the fact that this guy can come to Italy. We will be very happy to meet with him, invite him, or maybe organize a concert for him. I know a little bit about music, after all. Anyone who read about me knows that I am a pianist, composer and orchestra conductor. At the end of the broadcast, they discuss Eleanor's YouTube channel. Eleanor replies that Dimash would have already arrived in Italy if they did not have this isolation and that this has already been planned. She also told that uh, they talked with Dimash a lot, but it was at a distance, and Eleonora would be very pleased to meet him personally. So my friends, I hope we enclose some details about how do Pierre Giuseppe Zaya and Eleonora Fani think about Dimash's talent, and of course, it would be nice to see the movie and also listen to the soundtrack. So my friends, let's see what would happen in future, but don't forget to enjoy time you spend every day. Thank you for watching, let's discuss what I think in comments and see you in next video. Good luck and bye!